Welcome back everybody, it's my everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Uh, we're going to look at Alpina today. Uh, we're going to play all 18 holes, long tees and TV cups. Because it turns out I've never set a score on this and it's going to be the final of the um, the next international tournament. So I thought I should um, thought I should play it. Um, we're not going to go with the custom clubs because I don't think I'll get custom clubs in the final. Um, so I'm just going to try and get used to the course. <laughs> And understand where I'm going to lay up and where I want to play and, and all those other things. Um, but yeah, interesting decision that they've they've split the qualifier and the final. So the qualifier is at um, Eagle City, which I've played a lot. Um, and then the final is Alpina, which I think is my worst course. Uh, and certainly when I did all the courses, I did a live stream a couple of weeks ago. And I tried to play every course um, in one session. So all the nine houses open online. I was by far the worst on Alpina, so it's the one I think I need the practice on. And so, we're going to give this a go. So, we're going to play all 18. Teeny Cups, which makes life super interesting. As ever, because it means you've just got to get it close. Oh, see what I mean? Because that, normally that putt drops. Focus. You're just going to drop shots to putts if you don't get yourself inside about an eight or nine foot. We even oh. Very nice. Oh. So pass start. As you can see, never even played it as nice. Oh. How, how have it's I missed Longitini? I don't know. Anyway, so I've never played it as nine. Never played. So par three next down. The ultra backspin. Yeah, good shot. Right. Oh, I'll come back a bit. Not as much as I wanted. It's going to give me about 12 minutes of tempo. Oh, that buddy. That's not a you terrible putt. Sloping down, I think. There we go. Nice. Got to be super careful with teaming nice. cups as well. I'm sure there was a change in a patch that means you've got so little room for error on pace on those there as well. I've had a few lip oh, out. Three. I think I was playing Nam Rock. And um, they were lipping from a couple of feet. So it's just going to be super careful. So par five. Um, again, distance isn't going to be the issue here. It's all about getting a good position on the fairway. Got the old top spin. Hopefully, don't roll too far out to the right. Yeah, should be alright. We've got on that little level there. So, 145 to go. It's a fair way uphill. There's a bit of wind on it. 7 iron in. Let's see what we can do. Nice shot! Suzuki likes it. That's not bad. Shoot me a 10 foot. Oh, well, yeah. It's a 10 foot for an eagle. eagle slip. Oh, that's a, that's just the right place to put it, isn't it? I'll take that, thank you very much. Got ourselves to three under. As I said, you get him within 10 foot, you can make some cuts. It's a par four. It's a four's a downhill dog leg. Now, there is a bit of water here. One my sure. We can't really. I need a bit more length than that, don't I, to play that water skip? Oh, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? Can't really make use of the um Can't really make use of the dog leg. <laughs> Just gonna have to play it normally. Hopefully I haven't hit it too far out to the left. Oh, I might run the run. Yeah, that's always the risk. It's just gonna hold. Would have been nice to cut some of that corner off though, but hey. 130 left into the wind. Eight iron. Got the ultra back spin. Bravo! Ooh! That's not bad. Ah, oh, I actually probably didn't want the spin there. Go for the birdie! So we've got eight foot for birdie. It's gonna break a bit. Sloping down, I think. Breaking to the right. Oh, just about. Just about got it. So that gets us to four, which is great. 
a par four. So five's got this track in the middle. Yeah, I haven't got enough left to worry about that, so we can give it full beans. When you play with the custom clubs, depending on the T and the wind, sometimes you have to worry about that bit of track. Not today, though. So we've got 140 left. Into the wind, so we can be a little bit more aggressive with it. Oh, I missed the ultra back spin. <laughs> Done a bit of sway on it as well. It should end up on. It should end up reasonably Roll with it. ten foot. Go for the birdie. So it's going to break a bit. Oh, Get in. Uh, nice I think ten puts about my range of teams. I can hit kind of six, seven out of ten at oh, that you're range. Good. In fact, I've hit all of my under ten footers, haven't I, today so far? I'm just jinxing it. Touch wood. Oh, it's awful. Much easier when you give yourself that. So, again, this is kind of long. I've got a bit of wind, but it's a bit uphill as well. I think that little bit of fairway there. Got hold of it. Go. Oh, nice shot. I played this hole before then, because I've got a best drive marker on it. Although that's probably for another Tidy, what's up? hole combination. So 145 to go. Seven iron in, a little bit of crosswind, but nothing horrendous. Let's see if we can got the impact. So we've got the back. Oh neat shot! How oh, close can we get it? Ooh. Oh, that'll come back a bit as well. That's nice. Seven foot, I'll take. Go for the birdie. So, a bit of break. Looks like it slopes up. Bit of break. Yep. A birdie. Nice birdie. Easy. Gets us to six. Good birdie. So, seven's the path. Oh, seven. It's a par three. I've got a bit of crosswind on this. Plenty of green to work with though, so that's good. Going to be a six iron in there. Missed the perfect impact. Bravo! <laughs> oh! Just going to oh, run that's on enough. a bit. Should be inside ten foot. Roll there. With it. Yep. Go for the birdie. So again, a little bit of break. It's going to drop Sloping away. down, I think. So it'll sort of die a little bit at the end. There we go. Another birdie. Seven under. I'll take that. Again. Get it inside ten foot. Life is much simpler. It's a par four. Gotta hit the greens. Gotta hit the fairways. So Yeah, now normally if you've got longer clubs, anywhere down here is trouble. Hopefully I can keep this up on this side. Actually probably no point playing the power shot. Significantly oh, nearer with it because of the slope. Oh, it needs to stay left. Needs to stay left. It needs to stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Oh, oh fuck! I've got to be so careful with that. So 60 yards to go. A bit of wind. It's uphill, so I might turn the um, approach off because I am going to need a touch more club. Oh. Yeah, it needs to come back a bit. That's good. Got that down to about seven foot. Roll with it. Go for the birdie. Oh, look at that. That's what you want. You want a nice straight flat pop. Nice birdie. That gets us to eight. Par five to close out the first nine. It's a par five. So I remember this one's downhill, isn't it? Yeah. So this is all about where you land the thing. So let's go there and let's try and put a bit of shape on it. Try to go, go, go. bend it into the wind. The wind will take it left, it'll straighten when it lands. Is that going to be that? Looks like it'll be alright. Yeah. I'll take that. So 225 to go, so still got a quite a way to go. We're going to go over a bit of water. It's going to be a wood, so holding the wood is going to be the hard part of this. Yes. Again, bit of shape on Bravo. it. 
I'd rather pitch it on the land than bounce it off the water. Yeah. Ooh. Skidded a bit there, didn't it? So it's going to go out the back. Oh, no, it's still green. Okay. So we've got a pup for an eagle. Oh, we've got a little saddle point there. If you look at that line there, see, it just... It'll just follow that curve. If I can kind of... Oh, is it about there? Let's play it about here. So pace-wise, 15 minutes. So it's going to play like a 10-foot pup. Let's just see what we can do. Just try and roll it along that ridge. Ah, it just never came off the ridge, did it? So just never came off the ridge. Oh, that birdie! But we've got the birdie. In she goes. <laughs> so that's not a bad... That's not a bad first nine. I'll take nine under, if I'm honest. You know, we did we did miss a putt there at the end. But everything inside ten foot we've held, which is which is exactly what you want really. Let's see how we do on the um, on the inward nine. Can we keep it can we keep it going? It's a par four. So ten. Oh this is the uphill one, isn't it? So gotta be super careful, gotta make sure I actually get it up on that level there. Nice shot. Nice. Should be alright, should get up there. There we go. Gotta be careful not to be too ambitious there, but that's fine. So 65 left. Bit of wind. It's gonna be a wedge, so it'll it'll catch the wind a bit. And it's uphill, so I need a little bit more. Good, good. Yeah, probably a little bit too much pace on it. But again, we've got it inside the 10 foot. For a, so a bit of break on this one. There's no one that breaks for a bit. Downhill. You can do it. To the left. Die a little bit at the end. Oh, just missed it high. Just missed it high. Decent pace, though. So we'll start with the par. Par three next. Hall oh, eleven is a par three. They're not too long, so it's a six iron in. Bit of wind. Not a lot of green to work with, but that's okay. That's a tiny bit downhill. Didn't get the ultra back oh, spin. Good shot. Nice shot. Oh. Oh, move more in the wind than I thought it would, or is that sway? We'll have a look in a second. Oh, great wind, 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 wind threatening. Oh, that buddy. So. We got ourselves a 10 footer again. Quite a bit of Slipping break. Down, I think. We missed high Breaking last time, left. but this has got more break for sure. Oh, just nearly missed it high. So we're just sort of over reading a touch. We don't want to correct it too much though, because we'll start missing like. Ah, oh, the infamous 12. So there's no chance of playing the super shortcut here today. Let's have a look down here. What can we? What can we? Yeah, we can't cut anything off. We've got the length, so we just want to play up into here, really. Give ourselves a good second shot. Oh, neat shot! I want to make sure I end up on fairway, so we get a good contact on all the distance. So 256 left. We've got to shot down to the green if we want to take it, but holding it with a wood is going to be a challenge. So the option is to play here to give ourselves a nice approach in. But we kind of sacrifice the eagle chance, really. But I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to be sensible. Oh, neat shot! So what we're going for is a nice position that we can then exploit with a chip in. So 30 yards to go. And what we're really trying to do is get this really close for a pup. It's going to roll a lot. Bravo! Go on. Ha! And of course, if you chip it in, that's even yeah. better. But then that's the advantage of playing for that. I give myself a good position. Whereas I'm going to have driven that green. I might have got up the green, but then I might have ended up in the rough. So, paid off there. 
So I'll take the chicken eagle. It's a 13, par 3. Is a par 3. Again, right up at the back, so plenty of room. It's a 5 iron. It's a little bit uphill. Not too far. Got the ultra backspin. Oh, good shot. It's gone a little bit left. Yeah, so it's not the best. Not the best shot in the world. Great 20 for yeah. So 25 foot. Oh, that buddy. Oh, and a nasty little ridge. Sloping uphill. It's gonna go right, then left, then right. So maybe left edge. Good, good. Oh. That'll do the job. Nice and easy. So it could have been a tricky putt, but we made it pretty straightforward. Oh, 14. It's a par four. So 14 is downhill par four. Again, you could probably get at that pin, but let's make sure we don't miss. Our risk is running out of back, really, because holding the wood's hard. All about where it bounces. Yeah, it's going to bound on a bit. I'll end up on the green, that's alright. Get a putt. So we got a 40 oh, foot putt for an eagle. Wow. Sloping downhill. It's not actually breaking to the right. Much, but it's downhill, which is the tricky part of this. Ice might end up short. See that? No. Oh. Just a little left. Yeah, lime is just a little bit out. Pace is pretty good though. We get our birdie. A birdie. <laughs> Easy. Fourteen holes played. Fourteen Quite under. Thrilling. So fifteen's a par four. Oh, fifteen. It's a par four. Yeah. So we've got to make sure we get over. Just a bit of shape on it, just to give me more fairway to pitch on rather than water. Oh, if it straightens, I might have a problem. This needs to hold. Yeah, it did. So 100 yards left. That tree might be a bit of an issue, so I have to put a bit of shape on it to avoid the tree. Pitching wedge, so we're going to get a fair bit of wind on it. Actually, if we play there, we might not have too much trouble with the tree. A little bit uphill. Got the backspin. Great shot. Champion. Yeah, just a little bit over pitched. We'll come back. <laughs> it spam back Great about play. 20 foot. Oh, that buddy. So. Sloping uphill. Really straightforward putt. Almost no break on it. Nice buddy. Nice and easy. Take off 15 under. It's a 4 4 5 finish. Oh, 16. It's a 16. A 16. The 16's got. Yeah, there's the only. You can skip it here. And we can go for this. Let's see what we can do. It's got the ultra top spin. Yeah, and got up the other side safely. There you go. That's a nice shot. I didn't take too much out of it, so pretty safe shot. So again, approach wedge in. Not going to be full blooded though. Let's play maybe there. It's going to kick a little bit as well, so let's play maybe there. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, I just over pitched it, but it'll come back. Ah. The time you want it to really rip back, it doesn't. Just but still, seven foot pub. That's maybe a cut left. Maybe a cut left. Oh, yeah, just got it. Nice and easy. All right, a birdie. It's a sixteen. It's a seventeen. Next. Oh, seventeen. It's a par four. Try and get it over the shallow. 
Wind will take it right. That should be okay. Yeah, one little bit of bear, bear fairway there. Nice right shot him. So 36 to go. Bit of wind. Ah, missed the ultra backspin. Champion. That's all right. They were still inside at six foot. That's fine. Oh, that buddy. So it's going to break Make late this one. Sloping downhill. There you go. A buddy. So seventeen under coming into the last. Marvin. And it's a par five to finish. Last one. Oh, eighteen. It's a par. Right. So eighteen. We want to make sure we get it over the other side. It's a little bit downhill. A bit of a crosswind. Got on with it. Good shot. Very good. Looks like it's going to be in a good spot, hopefully. Oh, no, it's skipped left. Oh, we've missed our first fairway. Don't take your eye off the gate. So, what we don't want to do is make a second mistake here. So, let's be careful. So, let's play to about here. Missed it. This is the problem. Mistakes lead to more mistakes. So we're in the rough again, are we? Yeah. Okay. Right. Going to get this on the green. So it's going to kick right. Wind's going to take it back to the left. Let's go. Yeah, let's go pitching wedge because we're going to lose a bit on the impact. <laughs> Masterful. Good to me. Well, that's okay. It's gone out the back, but we've got it close. So, chip in time. Ha got it. Oh, got it. So we keep our um, birdie hole. Oh, <laughs> Finish on 18 under. Not a bad round. I'm pretty sure I only missed one fairway. But that's so we managed an eagle in each half, a par in each half, and everything else was birdies. A lovely bit of symmetry there. So 18 under. Yeah, stats should be good on this. Yeah, I think we missed one. Yeah, I think we missed one green and one fairway. We've got a lot of perfect impacts as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, this will be the, the final course for the next tournament. Um, please like, share and subscribe. Please leave me a comment to me what you think. Um, and I'll see you next time for a bit more everybody's golf.